Hey beauties, welcome back to the beauty room. And for those of you that are new, my name is Christy and I'm obsessed with all things beauty, hair, makeup, nails, skin, you name it, I probably love it. <laughs> so for today's video, we're actually going to stick on the theme of hair. And I don't mean my hair right now, but we're sticking in the theme of hair because we got a new INH tool to test out and it is the insert sleek hair here so it's the latest inh tool that they released it is the flat hair brush i want to say but it's like the brush it's the next one after the the round the round brush dryer <laughs> i can't even talk today but it's you know it's after the insert blowout here so this one is insert sleek hair here and then you know we're gonna unbox it try it out talk a little bit about it so why don't you videos get comfortable because we're going to have a little hair day in this video so i'll see you real soon all right beauties so here she is here is the latest and brand new tool for my nh insert sleek hair here as you can see, I have the box right in front of me and we are going to unbox her, see what she has, what she, how she looks like, how she works. We're gonna do all of that in this video today. So here up front is just a quick look at the box and pretty much how she's come up set up and everything. So she is a straightening brush and right off the bat, she has ceramic bristles and a two inch wide brush head. She is smaller than her previous predecessors, the waiver and the insert blowout here. So she's definitely a smaller tool. She does have different purposes compared to her previous predecessors as well. She is a straightening brush. So it's going to help you achieve that sleek hair look. If you want to retouch your, your hair, if you've ironed it out. But we're going to open her up and see how she looks and how she... What, what else she comes with? But to compare sizes, here is like a roll of paper, and that's how big and small she is. So on the sides, you can see it says hot brush, and then some of the features that she does have, according to the back, she does have an auto safety shut off. She goes up to 450 degrees. She's going to help smooth your frizz and has a rapid heating, so she help, she'll heat up pretty quick. So again, here is the box. A nice little pink packaging. She looks very small again, like we should, like I showed you with the roll of paper. So why don't we open her up and see how she looks inside? Because I am ready to test her out. I am anxious. I am ready. So let's go. Because I hope you beauties are too. I will say before we open her up that I'm curious to see how she compares to the insert blower here and how quick she will dry your hair if you're trying to use it for drying purposes. So here she is, beauties, and let's compare the sizes because if I showed you how big she was next to the roll of paper towels, oh, like before opening her up, this is how she looks once you open the box and stuff and it's a bit more smaller. As you can see, she is like a light pink, peachish color, does continue the theme of the hair tools from INH. Here is a closer look at it. As you can see, you have the display for the temperature and the buttons for the, to adjust your temperature and your on and off button. She does feel very light. She does feel lighter than her uh, previous predecessors. I can definitely tell you that. Her bristles are different as well compared to the insert blowout here, which was the round brush styler, the round brush dryer. This one is like more of like a hairbrush and you see the bristles are more dedicated to trying to help you achieve that sleek hair look and help straighten out your hair but i definitely am curious about this one and i do like the bristles and i want to see if they definitely want to if they definitely help you achieve that look so here is a closer look at her and she is definitely a cute one she's light she's small and she'll be easy to work with and carry around so that's that seems like a good good start you know 
but here, here's a better look at her as I get a feel of how she feels. Well, at least the Brussels wise before we test her out. But why don't we move along and have another closer look at her? Here is the INH logo. I'm telling you again because I do not have the same option as I did before. She definitely feels light. So there is the extension cord that she comes with. Obviously, the box includes some instructions in it as well. I will say that I do like how she does feel like she's not super chunky, so she'll be easy to store compared to some other tools. Like you could find an easy spot to put her in because she, like the width is almost like a hairbrush. So that is a nice bonus. And I am impressed like how she just looks right off the bat. But again, here are some instructions, the maintenance of how to take care of her and how to work her. But as usual, you always have never limit your self-expression. A model that INH likes to go off. But here she is one more time before we put our reviews to see how she really works. Is she worth it? Is she not? So let's get ready, beauties. Let's try her out. So as usual, I have separated my hair into different pieces like I do anytime I try to use any hot tools. And as usual, I am adding some products into my hair, which is like the detangler spray from Not Your Mother, so I could easily brush my hair off before using any tools. And a heat protectant, also from Not Your Mother's, because it's a blow dry accelerator and a heat protectant, so I won't damage my hair. So let's brush that product out in my hair and start prepping every, every part, right? So here she is, the insert sleek hair here. Once you plug her in, she will show you off on its indicator because that's where it's also going to show you how much heat and degrees on your tool. And you see the number is going up because she is starting to warm up. So the minimal heat pressure, well, the, the least amount of heat that you could get on this is 250. And that's where we're starting off to test her out and get a little bit more comfortable with her. As you can see, I have slowly started using her just to get a feel of how she works and to see how quick she might start drying or start working. I'm also just using it as a brush at the moment because I want to just get a feel. And like I said, I'm just trying to see how she operates and how if she pulls any hair or not. So now we increase the temperature to 265 just to see if it changes up a little bit of the pace of how she works or dries and styles out your hair. But as you can see, I'm starting to get tangled up as I try to go through with the brush. So let's just fix that up real quick so we can keep testing her out. But like I said, she is now at 265. We are going to see if it changes the pace and the styling with the insert sleek hair here. So not much was changing with the temperature increase so we raise it up to 285 this time and to see if it would speed things up a little bit more although 265 was helping a little bit but i wanted to see more progress see if it will speed up the process because i felt like it was taking a little bit longer than what i expected it to be but then again we're just testing her out we're just seeing how she works how she feels i'm starting to get a little bit more hang of her as i go along as you can see, I've started to take a little bit more time going through sections, but at the same time, I'm still having to feel like if I'm having a regular brush in my hand, even though we all know it's like a styling tool. So here I started to bring down the rest of the top part of my hair and starting to brush her out so to make sure there's no tang tangles or entanglement, if you want to say it. I did a little bit of detangler spray just to set her down so it would make it easier using the insert sleek hair here 
so that way we don't get her stuck in my hair or get and pull out any extra hair as you all saw the temperature is still set at 285 as I continue with the top part of my hair And then here we just have like a quick progress of how things have been going. Like I said, once I was dry, the other one was still wet. Just to show you a little bit of comparison and see how things have been going at 285. at 285 well 285 degrees as you can see it's a little more drier at this time but it's not completely done yet we're still just trying it out see how it's going along it has improved its performance but like you see i'm so wet on the top part and i'm slowly working through it also as you can see i've gotten a little bit more of a hang of it starting to treat it more like the way i would do with a flat iron in a way so I'm slowly taking my time to make sure it comes out nice and sleek nice and straight even though my I do have straight hair but I just want to have the nice and sleek look as I go along so now we're going to test out the straightener, well, the insert sleeker here at 300 degrees, just to see how she works at that setting. My hair is semi almost done, but we're gonna finish it out with 300 and see how she works. If she does the job quicker, but it seems like it does leave my hair more sleeker, more straighter, and drying quicker. So now I know to start off with 300 for the next time I do decide to use this insert sleeker here. As you can see, I learned to take my time with it so that way it works better. When I started treating it as I would with a uh, flat iron, I started to see more results, especially at the 300 degree setting. So you start to see more progress, more um, flattening out if you would like to say. But it definitely works better at the 300 setting. And I'm starting to see a lot more progress as I go along. As you can see, my hair looks a little bit better, a little bit put together. It's not necessarily a flat iron, but it's going to help you somewhat achieve that look. And it definitely looks a lot, lot better now at 300 degrees. So I now hit the off button and you can see it'll show you on display, but let's talk a little bit more about it. Hey beauty, so welcome back. As you saw in the whole video, I got to try out the new Insert Sleek Hair here. here. I actually ordered it because I, I wanted to try it since it was a flat hairbrush and I did like the insert blowout here. Although insert blowout is more towards giving you value. This one is just like, you know, if you want the sleek straight hair look. Um, with this one, it's definitely smaller than the insert blowout here. So if you need a little fresh reminder, even though we just went through it. But here she is out of the box. Again, it looks like a hairbrush, but she's a hot brush. So I tried her out on different settings as 
I was able to show you guys in the video. But I have a couple different thoughts on this one. With the insert blowout here, which is like the round brush one, I was able to do my hair, like blow it, not blow it out, but like dry it out, style, style, you know, like when I leave it, like not in the bun or anything like that. Like after drying it out, because that was, that was the main purpose I bought the insert blowout here for. So when I wash my hair, need to get it done quickly, I did it in 10 minutes. And that one has like two to three different settings. This one is temperature wise because it does have like, you know, the buttons here and it'll show you the temperature. But with this one, I wanted to get it because I wanted to see if I could use it to, you know, when my hair is wet, dry it out and same time style it out. With this one, I feel like your results depend on the temperature. And what you actually want to achieve with it it took me a while to get accustomed to it because i was trying to see how quick it would do stuff on each temperature setting if you're trying to dry your hair because that's what i was trying to do with it first you know to get a sense of it to feel it out i wanted to see if it was going to do like the same effect of the insert blowout here that if i used it to dry my hair it was going to do the job it does do the job but I feel like depending on the setting, it's how you're going to achieve what you want to do. I kept increasing the temperature, like through parts of my hair, just to see how quicker it would respond. And then obviously it took me a while to get a hang of the brush, not holding it or whatever, but like to get a hand hang of uh, like um, how I actually want to use it. Because at first I was just going to get a regular brush to see how it was, it would feel, how it would go, and how it would work. And then, you know, once I started slowing it down a little, had the temperature set, or after I would increase it a little bit, it was how I saw how it would work a little bit better. I, I did play around with it a little bit. I, I won't lie. Because, like, I wanted to see different temperature settings. I wanted to see how quick I would get the hang of it. It was just if it would be just like, oh, let me just go like this, like you know, let me go like this. Is it gonna like work? Is it gonna not be? Do I have to go slower? Do I have to go quicker? Do I have to increase the setting or another in between? You know. I feel like if you want to dry your hair with this, it would be good if you have like short hair, like you know, in the summer if you have like short hair. And you want to do like a quick, you know, one, not like this, but you know, like, like that and whatever, it would do fine. Um, because it wouldn't be necessarily like leaving with the insert blowout here. I did like it considering my hair is like growing out. It grew more than what it was before. And it helps me get my hair drier quicker and then like, give it some volume or style it out as I'm going through with it. This one helps you leave your hair like nice and sleek, nice like you know, straighten it out instead of using a flat iron. But if you have short hair, I feel like it will help you like dry it out and sleek and like straighten it out as you go instead of grabbing like a flat iron after going with a blow dryer or air drying it, whatever. But since I tried it out right after like washing my hair but it wasn't like completely soaked wet hair it was after i let it air dry for a little bit and i came back to it with this with this one right so for the drying purposes you need to be patient i learned it with this one i kind of had the expectations of let me see if i could do it quickly like i did with the insert blowout here but it's two different complete different tools so you're like uh, don't set your expectations of each tool to be the same because they're two different tools so with this one I feel like if you want to dry your hair with it you can but it might be more effective if you have shorter hair with this I feel it is good for touch-ups if you have if you did like past a flat iron 
like the night before if you want to touch it up without necessarily grabbing a flat iron this will help you out with that if you still want to dry your hair with this after like a, a quick wash or whatever you need to be patient and i learned that as i was trying it out i definitely want to give it another try to see if it changes my perception or my opinion about it but i'm definitely going to try it out one more time after washing it and playing around with the settings a little bit more because it does dry quicker with the higher temperature i started off with the lowest temperature possible because i don't like to apply that much heat onto my hair that quickly i do use a heat protectant and i do use a detangler spray a detangling spray prior so that way it doesn't get like too tangled up or too rough as i go in the process and i do separate my hair into different parts to achieve the, the job quicker right but if you're trying to use it for like the drying hair, the key word is patience. Patience. But I do like it for if you okay. I do like it overall. You just need to get accustomed to it as you go. Like at least for me, I had to get accustomed to it because it's because I don't have any tools like this. And this is why I wanted to get it. And because I do have like very sleek, very long hair. Well, it's growing up now as it's been more than a year since my last haircut. But I wanted to try it out since I don't have anything like this. Which is the same reason why I bought the waiver. Because I don't have anything like that either. So I'm going to play around with it one more time. But I will say I do love the size. I love how this is easy to manage. And obviously you get to see the temperature as it. You increase it, decrease it, and set it off as you go. Just be careful when you do use it. If you're trying to use it, like, hold on to this part as you go down. Like, if you're trying to straighten it out, just be very careful. It does get hot the higher the temps go. So, please be careful. Um, I do like the bristles, though. I will tell you that. It's different from the insert blowout here, but I do like it. And I love the... Obviously, I'm a sucker for pink, so I love the color. But I do like that it's not heavy. That's another bonus because my arms have gotten weak ever since Miss Rona. But I do like how it's not heavy. It's easy to, to hold. It's easy to manage. It's easy to work with. But like I said, if you're just trying to use it straight out the shower, patience keyword patience but i do want to try her out as a touch up if i do flat iron my hair even though i do have like very small well, you can't see it because i have it in a bun right now but i do have like very sleek hair very straight hair and very thick hair so i do i did want to see if it would work on the process of drying i will give it another try by starting off with a higher temperature than i did the first time around but at the same time, using heat protectant, being careful, and not trying to dry out my hair. And I'm going to try it out as a touch-up for a flat iron. So if you guys want to see updates about that, let me know, and I'll give you, I'll fill you guys in. But she's a yes for me. Even though it did take me time to get accustomed to her, to her. And like I said, it's not a quick dry like the insert blowout here. But I do like her. I do like the purpose. I do like it. It's still a yes for me, even though like I'm still trying to get accustomed to it, and I'm still learning more about this brush as I use it. But like I said, I'll fill you guys if you fill you guys in if you want to know more about it. If you want to see if my opinion changes about it over time, but I do like her so far. I just need to <laughs> remind myself it's not a regular brush when I have it in my hand. It's a hot brush, you know. It's a hot tool. But overall, I do like her. She's still a keeper in my book. Um, I just just need to get myself more accustomed to it. And I'm sorry if I'm scratching, but like the bun is like poking me. So that's that's a whole different topic. But I do like her. I do I do like her though because I still feel like she still gets the job done for me because she still did. And I, my hair wasn't frizzy. Like, it took me a while to dry it 
out with it because I was still playing around with the temperatures, so trying to get accustomed to it. But she left my hair nice. I'm not gonna lie. She left my hair nice. So that's why I'm I'm saying she's still a keeper, even though my expectations for how quick the process would be weren't necessarily met. But she does do the job. Like I'm saying, she left my hair sleek. She'll be nice for like when you want to touch up like after you're passing a flat iron. Or if you already have like short hair, it'll help you with that drying process. But she still left my hair nice. I will say that. So. So that does it for today's video. If there's anything you beauties want to see in a future video, you know, you can always let me know here in the comment section on my different social media channels. As always, you could look me up as Christy's Beauty Room in Instagram and TikTok. My Twitter is a little bit different, but it's going to be linked down below. And I will show you guys later on. Like, if I'm switching things out. I th decided it was time for a change. But for working on it, I'll give you guys updates. I've been sort of doing that on my Instagram and TikTok. But I will be seeing you BDs very soon because I'm hoping to have a little bit more content on here going. I know I've been a little bit quiet. It's been a little bit of hiatus. I will be seeing you beauties very soon i'll be having more content for you don't worry i will be trying to do the most that i can so i'll be seeing you beauties back here in the beauty room real soon bye beauties <laughs>